Texas Deer Hunters. Texas Parks and Wildlife is spreading the news of a new law that has been recently passed. The law is extending the use of crossbows into archery season for all hunters. Crossbows were made legal this year by the legislature to be offered in, for use in the archery only season. Up until this year, people with upper limb handicaps were only able to use a crossbow in archery only season. And then anyone could use a crossbow in general season. TPWD also wants hunters to remember to practice safety first when using a crossbow. Keep your bow on safe and do not load the bow until you are ready to fire. Take an opportunity, give crossbows a try. Increase that season if you'd like to and have a lot of fun out there in the woods. For more information on the new law, visit us on the web or call us toll free. Students at Texas State have more options getting help with their classes. April Adams has more in this Bobcat update. The Writing Center is now offering drop-in tutoring to students in need of assistance. Graduate students provide the service in a classroom-style setting located in room G04 in Flowers Hall. Drop-in tutoring was added to help the many students who prefer not to make appointments for 25 or 55-minute sessions. And in addition, we noticed that some people don't need a half hour appointment. They might just need to look at their work cited and make sure that all the punctuation is done correctly. Unlike other tutoring services, drop-in tutoring allows students to walk in and get help quickly. Some students think this is a great opportunity. It's nice to have the walk-in tutoring because, you know, that way you're not taking up someone else's time. Um, it becomes a more efficient center. Although drop-in tutoring is being used on a trial basis, Jine says she and other graduate students feel confident it will flourish. And we think that the more that people find out about it, the more that they will utilize the service. Drop-in tutoring is available to all students Monday through Thursday. To see a list of times, you can visit their website at writingcenter.txstate.edu. For Bobcat Update, I'm April Adams. Many people are enjoying outdoor activities and soaking up the sun. Although sunshine can be good for you, too much exposure can lead to skin cancer. Biochemist Professor Kevin Lewis was diagnosed with skin cancer after many years of prolonged sun exposure. I lived for about seven years of my life uh, spending a lot of time outside in uh, the state of Arizona around Tucson. Uh, I got a lot of exposure to the sun every day. Lewis says ultraviolet rays that penetrate the skin can cause severe damage. Ultraviolet light is uh, known to damage our uh, DNA, our chromosomes within our cells of the skin and predispose one to getting skin cancer. As most people know, using sunscreen with SPF 15 and beyond is a great product to use for protection from the sun. San Marcos resident Frisbee Dan knows how important it is to protect his skin when he's out in the sun. I basically wear this hat to keep the sun off my face. I wear sunscreen on my ears, nose, mouth, and as much as I can over, and I try to wear my shirt as often as possible while I'm in full sun. It's not possible to completely avoid sunlight, but taking steps to protect your skin from too much sun exposure can greatly reduce your risk of getting skin cancer. 